these types of people during the holidays. I don't really like. Let's go again. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna get into the video. It is overly excited. All right, little Timmy. Be sure not to wake up. Santa doesn't like being sane. <laughs> Mom, it's Christmas. I know. Get away from me. That's quite enough. Well, I'm, gonna I'm gonna go. I'm gonna drink my bubbly. She's gonna regret this. I'm so excited! Oh, this one is the dad that spoils the Christmas gifts to his son. Oh my god, he's gonna love this TV so much. I got it specifically for him. Hey! How you doing? So, you excited for Christmas? Yeah. Well, I know that most families usually get their presents on Christmas Eve, but I think if it were Christmas Day, it'd be a lot exciting. Plus, you got our presents, plus Santa's Christmas presents, <laughs> which is basically our presents. I mean, not really. <laughs> we're going right. to pretend I didn't say that. So, no. Uh, so, you know you know that song uh, by Michael Jackson, Stevie yeah. Wonder? No. Uh, well, let's just say, uh, let me just say, the song's called We are the world, okay? We are the world. You know, like, we, like the game console. Yeah. That's what you're gonna, I mean, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, just maybe like a vinyl of that song. Wink, 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 okay. wink. Cool. All right, and the other gift, I know that, I know that the hormones are kicking in, and you're getting to that age where you want to have some sexual experiences. So, so I was thinking, you know, I was thinking it's time for you to play, boy. You know, you know. What? Yeah, I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna probably don't know what it is yet, but trust me, you will once you get it. Okay. Okay. So uh, as for the stocking cap stuff, let's just say that Milton Hershey was a great man. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, you know, Milton Hershey? No. Hershey's are going to be in... Oh. Never mind. And then for the grand finale, um, the grand finale, you are going to absolutely love this. Let's just say that you're going to be wearing this one every day. It's one of your favorite people. He plays a certain sport. The sport has this in it. He plays for a team that is a bird and it's from the rainy city of Seattle. He was a white wide receiver, one of your favorites. Steve Larson. Okay. But it's but that's not who it is, so Well thanks Dad. Yeah. No problem. Okay, fine. We're not there yet. Alright. Not my dad. I am your dad. The person that uh doesn't no, celebrate doesn't celebrate Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Hey, man, what's going on? Merry Christmas. I don't celebrate Christmas. Oh, well, that's fine. I mean, everyone's entitled to their own religion, and it's perfectly fine if you don't. Well, I don't celebrate Christmas, so why'd you ask me that? If I don't celebrate Christmas, I don't think you should be saying Merry Christmas to me. If I don't celebrate Christmas, meaning I cannot relate to that subject at all because I don't celebrate Christmas. Okay, uh, go fuck yourself. Um, that's not the nicest thing to say to me. Hey, hey man, I don't want any trouble. Sit down. I don't celebrate Christmas. I know you do. The rich family that spoils their dog on Christmas. The rich mom, I guess. The season is mostly for giving presents to humans, but also for canines. Please welcome Roxanne and her dog, Ruru. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so great to be on this show. I have been a day one fan of you. It's just an honor. From female to female. So, so this is Ruru. You can get in the shot if you want. I'm not going to do anything. Right. Okay. This is Ruru. She's about, uh, she's about 18 years old. Um, How is... We paid for all the medical bills to keep her alive. <laughs> but anyways, today we got this little chicken. We got him a big bag of bones. Stacked to the brim. And you know what it was inside of? It was inside of a little bucket of KFC. It was, Ruru. We like to think of each other on a spiritual level, you know. I like to pretend that Ruru can talk to me. 
And you know what? I have always thought, you know, Ruru is kind of my whole life. And once she goes to canine heaven, I uh, joined a cult recently. And if you die in a certain type of way, you go to doggy heaven instead of human heaven. All right. So when the day Get comes that my dog screen. dies, I'm going to kill myself. Well, and that was that. good. Um, let's learn about whales after this commercial break. Who tries to hunt down Santa? Hey everyone, it's me, Chet Stedman. Ever since I was nine years old, Get out of here, Chet. I was always, I've always bowed, bowed, sorry, to destroy Santa Claus, kill him. And I have a very specific way to do it. First up, we're just gonna rip his fucking head open like this, like <laughs> right down the middle. Yeah, and you know what? Chuck there won't be any off. more, <laughs> you know, there won't be any more carolers in this neighborhood except me the minute I'm done with him. You know what? You know what? And this time I'm going to be the one who's singing. <laughs> the overly specific Christmas ads. Uh. Hello, my name is Freddie Benson. And one of the biggest tragedies that happens every single holiday season. Maybe a little even, maybe a even, maybe even a little bit for 4th of July is the death and destruction of socks. Ever since Nam, there has been a crisis when it comes to receiving the gift that is a warmly fresh wrapped pair of socks. Everyone takes it for granted, and this is just one of the thousands of horrific photos taken of these socks that were sadly taken for granted. This one right here is a photo. This one right here is one of the most sacred pairs of socks ever. It was kept in the trash for a while, but it was reserved for a museum that we will be opening very soon so people can see the dangers of wasting these fucking socks. <laughs> this one is from 1974, the cocaine era. They took it for granted, they don't know what they're missing. Here's an eyewitness from that year who had her Christmas present flushed down the toilet. I just wanted to give my kids some socks, you know? It's just sometimes it hurts, you know? You're just trying to buy your kids some socks. You just ruined. They're tough! It's so sad, man! Dutch! Gotta give my kids some socks, man! This ain't fair! Hey, Come hey, it's on! Okay. Get it's, okay. Off me, it's okay! Man. It's okay! It's okay! It's okay! I'm sorry. As you can see, this affects everyone every year round. I speak to a war veteran who said that his socks that were wrapped being thrown in the trash was worse than seeing his best friend die in his arms during the Cold War. You should be ashamed of yourselves! <laughs> so as you can see... This is a damaging effect for everyone out there. Go fuck yourselves. <laughs> Hello, from everyone here at Bay's Movie, TV, and Skits Channel, Merry Christmas, right, Cassin? Out. Fuck. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.